Casey and I have a crush on food. And today I have a crush on my mom. My mom is here with me today and she's going to show us how to make a delicious and easy beer bread. Mom, do you have a crush on food? I do have a crush on food and I have a crush on you. Oh, thanks mom. I know you have a crush on beer. And I have a crush on beer. So do I. I must have gotten that from you. It's genetic. It's not my fault. We both have a crush on bread, I'm pretty sure. So, we're going to show you how to put the ingredients together. It's very easy and it's very tasty. Every time my mom makes this, everyone says, this is delicious, this is so great. Mom, how long have you been making this beer bread? Um, I've been making this recipe for over 30 years. It's a long time. Okay, so tell us how to start. So a little bit about the recipe. Um, it's very easy. Um, an old friend of mine uh, gave me the recipe, like I said, over 30 years ago. And you need biscuit mix and beer and a little bit of oil. So very easy. Um, you can't mess it up. So let's get started. First measure the biscuit, the biscuit mix. We're going to start with three cups because we're going to make one loaf of bread today. Like I said, you can't mess it up, so just have your one cup measuring cup. cup. And spoon in about three cups. No need to level it off. We have a little extra because we're going to be uh, kneading the dough a little bit. Right, and dusting, and dusting the parchment paper with that. Now we're going to pour in the beer. It's um, going to be about a cup, one cup beer to three cups of uh, the biscuit mix. The beer can be hot, cold, domestic, imported. Good, bad, ugly. Okay. Really <laughs> imported. Um, so don't worry about uh, what kind of beer you have or if it's not cold. So what do we have here? I think we started with a 12 okay. ounce beer. Okay. My mom usually wings it, so when I told her we were going to make it on camera, she was concerned that we wouldn't know what the measurements were, but don't okay. you worry. Right. So we might have eight or nine ounces. In you the, just go by sight usually. Yes. So you just want it to have a biscuit mix consistency. And I use a spatula, anything you're comfortable with mixing, that's definitely what you want to use. So you see how that's looking just like biscuit mix. If it looks a little dry, pour in a little more beer. Yeah, kind of doughy, like dough. So actually I'm thinking that this looks good and it is a little bit sticky, but what I'm going to do is use um, the rest of the biscuit mix on the parchment paper to, to help dry it up a little before I uh, put it in the loaf pan. You sound like a professional, Mom. <laughs> With this, this is about the most professional dish I make. This is a family favorite. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, so it is a little sticky, but we're going to go with that. It looks perfect to me. Okay. You can use parchment paper or wax paper to knead the dough in, or you could just put it on your counter, you know. Okay, so just a little extra again. Don't worry about having too much or too little. I don't think you're going to mess it up. Okay, so we'll just put the dough right on top of the biscuit mix and start kneading. wearing an apron because it can get a little messy, especially if you're trying to make large batches. There's flour, biscuit mix flying everywhere. So um, we are going to use a little bit of oil in the loaf pan. We're going to start with um, maybe a, a quarter of a cup. That's the secret ingredient. It's not the beer, it's the oil. 
oil. <laughs> right, exactly. So when I told Casey we needed oil, she said, we do. I never knew you put oil in the pan. I have never watched you make this, actually. I've definitely eaten it a lot, but I don't think I've actually ever watched you make it. Terrible. Okay, so see, that just loafed up really well. It's very nice. It does look good. Yummy. Okay. Can I get rid of this? Sure. Alright, so I'm gonna go into take. So we have to let it rise in the pan. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like I said, mm, I'm gonna start with about a quarter of a cup of oil. Make sure it's in the pan good. It's coating the bottom of the pan. And then you're just gonna put the dough inside. Push it down, let the oil come up over the sides. Just make it fit in the loaf pan and even pick up the loaf and turn it over so it, it soaks in the oil because that, it'll make it crusty on the outside, moist on the inside. Okay, so now we're going to um, let it rise for 20 minutes. Just cover it with a paper towel or a dishcloth and let it rise for about 20 minutes. Let the, um, the yeast in the beer do its thing. I have to say, if I am in a hurry, I don't always, I skip that step. <gasps> and it's just as good. And it tastes just fine. It's fine. Okay. We'll be back. So we let the dough rise, but it looks okay. about the same. So if it looks about the same, don't worry. Um, it'll taste good. No big deal. So we preheated the oven to 350 and we're going to bake it for about 30 minutes. Yes. And we'll check in and see, um, see how it's done. If it's done, but um, about 30 minutes, you think. Right, 30 minutes and then check it. You'll be able to tell um, if the top looks golden brown. Definitely it's ready to come out. All right, we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So we took the bread out of the oven. It actually took like 45 minutes. So plan accordingly. Looks perfect. You did a good job, Mom. Nice and brown on the top. And um, a serving suggestion for you, butter. Put butter on your bread. But it's good without... It is. You don't need butter. Happy Mother's Day, Mom! Happy Mother's Day, babe. Thanks for having me.